And welcome back, we're gonna be playing more Paranormal Pursuit. The Gifted One, I'm your Gibbs, and we're doing this live. Hitbox.tv slash your Gibbs. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're missing out. We got live chat, we got interaction, I even do giveaways from time to time. So you should come on by and check it out. Hitbox.tv slash your Gibbs. We are, what, hour three of the game, and Blue Eyes here is, uh, been helping out quite a bit, but our FBI agent's kind of our recent fella that's been uh, spending some time with us, so off we go back into the game. We don't have a lot of inventory, we only have tape, which I'm pretty sure we're going to use for a fingerprint, and then we have a laser key, which I honestly have no idea what it's for, but it's a laser key, so that's good. So I'm not sure... No, okay, think hard. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, wow. Haha, <laughs> that is so cool! Oh, look, it's a CD case! Oh, wow! Fingerprints on the CD case? That's awesome! Look at that, now I've got myself a fingerprint! Let's go and put that on there. Let's go and see what's on the other side. What the heck is going on here? I love these types of games with the mystery and the pseudoscience. Those are my favorite kind of games. Let's find out what's going on with the boy. Trust your instincts. Release Kevin and take off this belt. I need a special key. What about this guy? Wow, he looks menacing, doesn't he? You're a bastard, but I'll let the judge decide what to do with you. Alright. So, so for those of you folks that are watching in the chat and you're wondering about Gibbs coins, so you collect them by watching the live streams. And uh, there's kind of a description at the live stream channel where you can see how you can cash those in for kind of extra things. And uh, that's that. So I know that a few of you have already made requests, and I will, I promise you, I will get to those as soon as I can. But yeah, so that's what Gibbs Coins is about. It's just a small little thank you that I have so that I can kind of say thanks for all you folks for sticking around and hanging out with me. Now, what are we going to do here? Oh, another door. Yes, yeah, so if you want to check them, you just do exclamation points, and then that'll tell you how many points you have. Here, I'll show you in the chat right now. The funny thing is, is look at how many points I have. Look at all my Gib coins. I'm rich with Gib coins. Yep. So there's no way for me to kind of do anything about that. But yeah, so that's that's life, I guess. <laughs> I got zero Gib coins for those folks that are watching. Not in the chat. Zero. Zilch. Here, I'll, uh, let's see who the point leaders are, because these folks deserve a big thank you for uh, sticking around with me for a long time. Hope is definitely the number one leader right now. Uh, let me see here. Did I actually spell that wrong? 25. Nope. Try that again. Oh, oh there we go. So right now, Hope, Wardfire, Vanessa, and Alex, they're kind of our top right now. And they have, uh, you know, 20 plus thousand over, yeah, good coins. So that's, I mean, they have, well, they're dedicated, and that's awesome, and I appreciate that. Alright, so we now have a hanger for some range. Why do we have this hanger? Oh, it's a hook. Cool. Now, let's see here. I want to get out of here because this room is noisy. There we go. So any ideas what we need a hook for? I think we gotta attach this to it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and look at that! Sticky tape. Now we have a hose with a hook. And now we have a jam. Why do we need a jam? That shit goes here, doesn't it? Arrange the gems in such a way that each row and each column has only one gem. 
Oh, this puzzle is fairly straightforward. Hmm. Look at that. We did that easy as pie. Yeah, I mean, it's not a competition, folks. It's just a little something that I try to give back to you folks that uh, are dedicated and hang out with me. And that's, that's all it is. It's not meant to be a competition. Although I know that some people have <laughs> treated it as such. But that's okay. It's all part of the fun. I like pie, too. Actually, uh, there is a place in Ontario called Pie Island. And uh, that's actually one area that I'm going to be visiting as part of my business trip. So one thing I had mentioned to the folks that are in the chat in between uh, recording sessions is that I'm going to be gone for two weeks on a business trip across Western Canada. So uh, I'm really excited about that. It's a great opportunity for me to shine, for me to show off my skills and talents for this new company that I've been only working for for the last month. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, Pie Island. Alright, so what do we got here, folks? We've got to go back this way, apparently. I have no inventory, so I'm not sure what you're expecting me to do here. Wow, he even... How did he strap himself in? So here's a bit of logic question. I can understand how he forced the boy to get strapped in, but how did he strap himself in? Unless it's like auto-strap, you know, where it's mechanical, maybe? You push a button and... I locks himself in. Oh, check his hand. Oh, wow, I didn't even see that the first time. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, I think it's definitely auto straps. More glitter! Mm. The fountain looks real, even though it's just a miniature one. So we have a locomotive. It's like a scale model, isn't it? Looks like we need something in there. We need a, a cog or a gear. We need to have that to unlock that. No, I haven't seen the Jersey Boys, Brandon. I don't, I'm not sure what they are. But I hope you have a good time with that. Ooh, floaty bit. Green key is next. I'll take that and I'll turn the water off. There's our gear, our cog. Oh wow, only one so far. Crane button. There's our blue key. I love this color scheme here with the red area, the green area, and the blue area. Neato. I'm not exactly sure what that... Oh, a handle. Lever. I should go there. Dark Parables. Yes, those are uh, definitely some of my favorite games for sure. I actually live-streamed. I'm trying to think. Did I live-stream the earlier ones? I want to say I did. Yeah, I mean... So, I've been live-streaming... Now, you know what, I should really look that up, because I want to do a special anniversary live stream, uh, when the time is right, obviously, but I'm trying to remember when I started live streaming, because I know I originally started on YouTube, where I was live streaming on YouTube, and then I switched over to Hitbox, but I can't remember exactly when I was doing that. I want to say it was last summer. So we still need a gear, and we need this, a belt key. Put that gear up there. Oh, no, this is what I want to do there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was during the summer as well. I will find out, because you're right, I think it was the beta for Mr. Case Files 11 that I started with. That seems to ring a bell. I might have did a few things before that, so I can go and look 
Let's see exactly when I started. Because really, it was when I started on YouTube was... Live streaming on YouTube is really the date I'm looking for. I think I did two betas at once. I think it might have been Mystery Case Files and the Memento Memoria one. It was a two hour session and I had one file with both of them in it. But anyways, don't worry about it. I was just curious. I will definitely check it out and make sure that I keep an eye on that because you know, I'm going to want to plan something special. Maybe I'll get Wardfire back together with me and we'll do a special together live stream. I had a lot of fun on New Year's Day with that. politician and senatorial candidate Alan Howard today found himself at the center of an explosive scandal. Newly discovered information has led to accusations of extortion, blackmail, and violence on his part. Local authorities have charged Howard with several crimes, and the district attorney is already calling for life imprisonment. Stay tuned for more details as we receive them. Oh, it's over. I wasn't expecting it to be over. <laughs> I want to play more! Aw, oh, the FBI agent in... Aw, oh, we're like... Like a family now! Yeah, that was totally a nice ending. Definitely a happy family there. Wow! I really enjoy this game, folks. Uh, I have to say, I'm a little upset with myself that I didn't play it when it first came out. Uh, but you know what? I'm actually really happy that I got to share the experience with all of you folks that have been watching on the live stream. Definitely one of my favorite games. I have to say, this is definitely top five favorites for me. And uh, you know, it's funny because Alouar, I generally like almost every Alouar game. Which is very different for me for ERS games, where half the time I don't like ERS games and half the time I really like them, so Alloware seems to be more consistent. But anyways, that is the end of the main game. And we still have time, so I'm going to go ahead and play the bonus chapter right now, because I have all of you with me.